Hello, 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 queens. I'm back at y'all with another affordable Valentine's Day makeup look. If you would like to see how I went from this to this using products all under $10, make sure that you sit back, relax, and come along with me as I show y'all how to do makeup the affordable way. First, I'm going in with my brow pencil. This pencil came from Timu, and I have it linked in my Timu haul, so if you haven't tuned in for that video, make sure that you go watch it after you finish watching this one. But this brow pencil is a 10 out of 10 for me, y'all. It was only like 74 cents, and it is my go-to when it comes to doing my eyebrows I really don't like to do too much on my brows I love to just follow the natural shape and fill in the sparse areas and I know my face is looking a little ashy but we just started this tutorial okay girl we don't have any moisturizer on we're gonna get into that later on down the line in the video but I promise you, I'm going to get it together, queen. As you can see, we have one nicely filled in eyebrow. I'm going to go ahead and get this one together real quick. Now that both of the brows have been filled in, I'm taking my Is Me New York Concealer in the shade Toasted. And I'm using it to clean up underneath my arch. Moving on to my eyeshadow base, I'm taking my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm going to be applying this all over my lids. For the eyeshadow look, I'm going in with my Nika K Matte Eyeshadow Palette. When it comes to affordable glam, y'all, this is my favorite palette to use. As you can see, I'm taking the dark brown shade and I'm just working it into my crease. Make sure that when you're applying eyeshadows that you really take your time and blend out the edges. This will just help with each color layout. Once I have this brown all applied, I'm going in with this flamingo pink type of shade and I'm using it as my transition. Since we are doing a cut crease, make sure that you bring those eyeshadows up towards the front of your eye as well. Once I'm finished blending out my transition shade, I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of that dark brown to build up my crease. Once you're finished blending out each shade, your eyes should look something like this. And we're moving on to cutting the crease. I'm going back in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and I'm just taking it on this flat synthetic brush. And I'm using it to map out my shape. I haven't cut a crease on my own eyes in over a year, y'all. So I had to make sure that I still had it. And your girl most definitely still had it. I finished this look much quicker than I expected. I would have definitely liked to go up a little higher with my cut crease and make it a little bit more round, but I was most definitely proud of myself, okay? Once I'm satisfied with the shape, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer and then I'm gonna cut the other eye.
Now that both of the eyes have been cut, I'm going to start blending out the edges. So I'm going in with that dark brown shade and I'm using it to blend out the edge of the cut crease. Now I'm going in with this plum shade. It's almost like a light maroon or a burgundy and I'm working it right in front of the brown. I'm going in with some more of that dark brown shade and I'm using it to really blend the two colors together. Now I'm going in with this light pink shade and I'm just applying it in the center of my cut crease. This color was so pretty y'all. Y'all have to go buy this palette if it's at your local beauty supply store because this eyeshadow look gave everything it was supposed to give. I'm going in with the matte white shade and I'm applying it in the inner corner of my cut crease. I'm taking some more of that purple toned kind of plum shade and I'm applying it at the end of my cut crease. Now I'm going in with this black liquid liner. This also came from Timu. And I'm just going to be using this to line my eyes. I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm using it to blend out the end of my liner into my cut crease. I went ahead and went in with my moisturizer. Now I'm just going in with my foundation. This is the Nika K foundation and I believe it's in the shade Mahogany. I just like to apply it to whatever areas of my face that I would like to cover up. And then I blend it out with this foundation brush. I normally blend it out with my fingers, but for the purpose of this video, I decided to use a brush. Okay, we're showing y'all a full glam beat. I'm going back in with my Is Me New York concealer and I'm using it to highlight my face. The concealer was pretty light, so to tone it down, I'm just mixing it with a little bit of my foundation. To blend out the concealer, I'm just going in with this damp beauty sponge. To help me blend it out around my chin, I'm just going in with my foundation brush. Since I don't really like to apply concealer directly on my nose, I like to use whatever excess concealer is on my sponge and just tap it on my nose to make it blend in better with my whole face. To set the concealer in place, I'm using my Ruby Kisses Press Powder and I believe it's in the shade Honey Glow.
to set the remaining areas of my face, I'm taking these two pressed powders from Black Radiance. First, I'm going in with the shade Rich Mahogany, and I like to apply it basically all around the perimeter of my face just to bring the color back to my face and to really set my foundation in place. And then I go in with the shade Black Coffee, and I really just use it to bronze up my face, so I only apply it to like my cheeks. I'm also going to use that pressed powder to sculpt out my nose. Once I'm finished sculpting out my nose, I'm going to spray my face with some setting spray. This is the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And I got this on sale, y'all. That's the only reason I'm using this. It was literally the only product in this video that was $10. But now I'm taking this Kiss Highlighter. And I'm going to be using this to highlight the tip and the bridge of my nose. I don't really like to highlight any other areas of my face. I'm going in with some black eyeshadow and I'm going to use it to line the edge of my waterline and once I have that all applied I'm going to be taking the dark brown and the pink eyeshadows and I'm going to be smoking them across my lower lash line. Moving on to the lips, I'm taking my LA Colors Dark Brown Eyebrow Pencil and I'm using this to outline my lips. Before I go in with lip gloss, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lashes. And I chose kind of a small pair for this look just because I wear glasses, y'all. So I can't really wear big blinks because they always hit my lens. And I got these lashes from Shein. I believe a pack of them were like $2 and some change. So I recommend all of y'all go shop with Shein. And once I put these lashes on, girl, you couldn't tell me nothing. Hold on, hold on. We almost done. Because, yeah, y'all see me. Don't play now. But I'm going in with this She Liquid Lipstick. I believe it's in the color Nude. And I'm going to be applying this to the center of my lips. The color was a little more pale than I expected. But we're going to fix that, okay? We're going to blend it into the liner. And then I'm going in with this Sugar Cookie Lip Gloss from the Beauty Supply Store. I love this lip gloss, y'all. It smells so good but once i have it i'll apply it to my lips that'll be the finished look hey okay queens this is the finished look for my affordable valentine's day glam if you enjoyed please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and stay tuned for my next one bye bye queens